John, you're a soft guy. Can you tell me about some of the, the training scenarios that you've been through? Well, yeah, a lot of shooting. You know, we've got all the smoke coming out of the out of the rifles and stuff like that. And a lot of people don't think about how much lead is in that um, in that smoke coming from the primers and, and all of that stuff. You're breathing in all those carcinogens or, or you know, whatever the bad stuff. Yeah. Even though that's outside, we think, ah, that's dissipating. It's still all around you, and you know, it's it's probably doing. We're probably breathing a lot more than than we thought. Um, but then when we get into the confined areas like shoot houses and stuff like that, it's just all around you all the time. And I don't, you know, you don't know what settled to the ground and then got stirred back up by either shuffling your feet in there or dropping a flashbang in there or something or, or a door charge. Um, the explosive breach is another one yeah. where there's just stuff going everywhere and you're walking right through it most of the time and into the, into the cloud. So having something like this would really make a big difference. Yeah, I mean, knowing just how how soft forces operate you guys you guys spend a lot of time training in order to get to to a single mission so right, you're spending right. a lot so, of time in those so exactly training. exactly the the amount of time you practice something before you actually do it you're breathing in way more of that stuff and you may go actually do that operation and fire like a fraction of the amount of rounds you even fired during training mm -hmm. so probably the, the the respiratory hazards i guess are greater during training now you're downrange, and you know the first thing that comes to my mind is just living in an austere environment. I mean, there's sand, there's dust, there's all kinds of other gross things that are in the air that you're breathing. That is that in itself is a reason to have respiratory protection, just to protect you in daily daily life downrange. Well, driving around in the dirt and dust definitely that's a, that's a daily occurrence for a lot of people in the military that go downrange or or to austere environments or third world type of environments and you don't know what's in that I mean we don't know what's what is in that besides just plain old dirt right Absolutely. Um, going into other st structures not everybody's standard of living is is the same and there's mold mildew who knows what you don't really know what you're breathing I like the idea that this thing is easy to bring along and you may think you don't need it and all of a sudden you wish you had a mask on um, if you have it in your pocket or in a pouch you can put it right on your face you just never know what you're going to encounter, and having having that, that ability is is great. And so now I I understand you're doing some instruction, that kind of thing. So uh, I mean, that's that, there's a lot more people shooting weapons around you now. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm around more people shooting these days than I than I shoot. You know, I'm around full classes of people, and in in a shoot house environment now, I'm the guy on the catwalk mm -hmm. most of the time. So yes, I'm breathing everybody's smoke, not just my own when I'm when I'm shooting. So so wearing this is probably even more important for me up on the on the catwalk not saying it's not important for everybody else but because i am in that situation and, and subjected to it all the time yeah yeah so i mean as a user do you find that it's something that you can wear comfortably for 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 entire class all day that it, it is and and i like that i can clip it onto my helmet just like this and and not have all the straps if i don't want them um, most of the time if i'm in an environment where i where i'm training environment I need to also be having a helmet on yeah, so sure. all the straps underneath isn't the best ideal but but to be able to clip it straight to my helmet be able to take it on and off easy it uh, you know the big vents on the side uh, make it not really sweat up and hot and get hot inside so it's easy to wear it's easy to wear all day yeah awesome all right Don I appreciate your insight on that oh yeah no problem and if you'd like to learn anything else about soda or any other OpsCore product please go to OpsCore.com